Now the all new BMW M3 and M4 have made its debut for better or for worse. We'll leave that up to you to decide because honestly the styling is very bold. It's in your face and it's probably going to end up being a love it or hate it type thing. And honestly I'm still on the fence that I don't know which side I want to go with. Um, let's go right into the elephant in the room and that is the front end of this car. Boy is this bold. It is in your face like I said and people on the internet have been saying it looks like giant beaver teeth coming at you um i'm not gonna say i don't see it it does kind of look like beaver teeth that massive grill or should i say grills two of them it's 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 too much i think it's just too much but there is a reasoning for it at least BMW says there's a reason for it. So we're going to get into that shortly. Um, but overall, let me know what you think of this design. Uh, it's, I don't, I don't know. I'm still like, I, I haven't made a decision yet. But again, BMW says there's a reasoning they had to do it this way. So you just got to wait a few minutes and I'll let you know what that reasoning is. But uh, yeah, the front of the car, definitely a bit controversial. With that being said, I want to jump right into the performance aspect of the car first, and then we'll get back to the styling and everything here uh, a little bit later. But let's jump into the engine. The engine in the new M3 and M4 is a revised version of the S58 twin turbo 3 liter inline 6, which is now rated at 473 horsepower at 6,250 RPMs and 406 pound-feet of torque, which BMW says you'll receive between 2,650 RPM and 6,130 RPM. Zero to 60 comes in at 4.1 seconds with a top speed of 155 miles an hour. Now, if you get the optional M drivers package, top speed increases to 180 miles an hour. There are also competition models, which will get a bump in power to the tune of 503 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. That'll push them 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds, and although peak horsepower is still reached at 6,250 RPMs, the competition models can rev out as high as 7,200 RPMs. Now you have your choice between a six speed manual transmission or an eight speed automatic. Now if you go with the six speed manual, not only you're gonna be able to bang your own gears, which is way more of a driver enthusiast car if you ask me, but it also comes in at 50 pounds lighter than the automatic. Now real quick side note, next year, the competition models will receive the MX Drive which is a rear wheel biased all wheel drive system that distributes the torque electronically between the front and rear wheels. Now when it comes to the M models, you'll be able to choose between four wheel drive, four wheel drive sport, and two wheel drive models. Other features include adaptive M suspension, M traction control, and M servotronic steering. M rated compound brakes are also standard with the option of gold painted carbon ceramic brakes. That's a lot of M's. Also standard are going to be lightweight forged alloy wheels measuring 18 inches up front and 19 inches in the rear. Competition models will get 19s up front and 20s in the rear. Now the new M is 4.6 inches longer than the outgoing model and is also 0.4 inches wider 0.1 inch higher and also has a 1.8 inch longer wheelbase. Now with that being said, let's jump back into the exterior styling of the car. I'm going to say my favorite view of this car is probably the rear. I love the sharp angles. I love the design, the diffuser, the quad tailpipes. Absolutely love the rear of the car. It's fantastic. Side view profile, the silhouette, also nice. I like it. But if we're going to go back to the front, that's the questionable part. But I think that's the question for everyone. But BMW did state it was for a reason. And the reason is all those grills are needed to cool the car down. 
or at least different components of the car. They said the bottom portion of the grills house cooling ducts for the brake systems and the top portion of the grills supply all the cooling air to the radiator for the engine and everything else needed to keep that car cool while on the track. Now front and the side, overall the car's not bad looking. I actually like it and if you get it in black you'll probably end up hiding a lot of those big grills. The M's also get full LED lights all the way around the car with an option for adaptive LED headlights and BMW laser lights. Carbon fiber roof and rear diffuser are standard. You can also get the M carbon package which adds the carbon fiber front air intake inlays and side view mirrors. Now the interior gets a whole new design as well. The gauge cluster is a 12.3 inch digital display as well as also having a 12.25 inch high resolution touchscreen infotainment system. It also has an optional heads up display that features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now the interior is treated with a large mixture of leather, carbon fiber and brushed aluminum which looks absolutely amazing. BMW has always done really well on their interiors at least for my personal opinion. The center console where the gear selector is housed now also houses the push button start as well as a turn dial for your infotainment selections. Traction control buttons, drive modes and electronic parking brake. Now the standard seat for the M models is a heavily bolstered leather sport seat but if you want to go one step farther you can get a race inspired carbon fiber seat that weighs 21 pounds less than the standard seats. Now the 2021 BMW M3 comes in at a starting price of $69,900 while the BMW M4 comes in at $71,800. Of course there's going to be that $800 destination fee and sales will begin in March. Overall the M models sound like they're going to be a big performer. They always are. The M models are very popular, they perform extremely well, and this one seems to be no different. So drop your comments down below what you think of the new M models. Is the styling too much for you? Is it okay? Does the performance make up for it? I'm very anxious to hear what your comments are on this one. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next upload.